Hello Booms, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. And I'm excited for this one. This is Peter Serafinovich. It's called Master Impressionist. Now I've seen him do quite a few at this point, so there's probably going to be some repeats in here. Uh, but this is 11 minutes long, and man, he's probably going to have a lot of impressions in here. All the impressions he's done have been superb, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, let's get it. Peter Serafinowicz, Master Impressionist. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's see how good these are. Here we go. This season of The Apprentice is going to be the greatest ever. The rewards are greater, and the stakes are higher. This little Australian beast may look tame, but it can go absolutely bonkers. An actor's face would should be a blank canvas, and now mine is. I think it's absolutely breathtaking. Uh, it, is, uh, it is awesome. I've got so much money. I thought it was bloody big head. I'm so brilliant and wonderful. I was the best one out of the Beatles. When I heard that, I was bloody furious. And I'm so glad I'm not poor. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I'm not poor. <laughs> it's like... Oh, man. His Jeremy Clarkson was very good, even though we only caught, like, three seconds of that. But that was very good. So what did you think? Uh, well, you know, Rocky is actually dead at the start, you know? And uh, then Paul, he finds uh, serum and uh, brings his body back to life. And, uh, and the court has a fight with uh, Apollo Creed's ghost. It was, without a doubt, the worst audition ever witnessed by man. Your choice of speech was poor, your delivery was mechanical, your timing was a joke. I felt sick just listening to it. Look at me, Brian. <laughs> you are no hope, no future, no talent piece of crap, and you deserve to die. Wow. Is the kind of thing they might say to you at an audition, so you need to be ready to deal with that. You're beautiful. <laughs> Veda? What? Um, I mean, uh, destroying the rebel base will be a beautiful victory. Quite, Lord Nice set there. Please continue. What? I think it's ludicrous, preposterous. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous, and it makes a mockery of the Oscars. Yes, I beg your pardon. Do excuse me. Is there a problem? Well, yes, there is a problem, actually. I went to pick up the phone. Well, it's quite simple, actually, because this is my phone. Oh, it's your phone? Yes. Oh, well, pardon me for being so stupid. <laughs> yeah. It sounded just like him. It sounded just like him. John Cleese. Basil. For Faulty Towers. That was such a great show. Hello? Ah, uh, her Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. No, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. No, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, I know the list, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, Herr Hitler. Yes, of course, Herr Hitler. No, not at all, Herr Hitler. And you, Herr Hitler. Hal Hitler. Oh, my God. Anthony Hopkins fears for his life as Hannibal Lecter is released from prison. I'm really surprised as I always thought he was a fictional character. Welcome back to Heads or Tails. We are with Claire Taylor, who's just flipped her way to a rather amazing quarter of a million pounds. How are you feeling, Claire? Homosexuality is not just part of who I am, <laughs> it is who I am. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. Oh my god, he did the hef. The hef. I call him the hef. Christmas is a time of celebration for us humans. But what do we know of the festive rituals in the animal kingdom? Well, I do. Oh god. I have somebody write my lines on big cue cards. Some people call them idiot boards. Although I am not an idiot. <laughs> and the guy 
hold them off camera so I can read them, like I have over there. For the first time in my dude. When I did the uh, reaction to uh, his impression of Marlon Brando in that Job of the Hut suit or whatever it was, there were some people that were really upset with that. They thought that they <laughs> he did uh, Marlon Brando dirty and it was very disrespectful to him. I thought it was funny. Um, but, you know, so I guess some people really like who they like and when they get made fun of, they're like, ah, that's, that's bad taste. But... You know, which I get, but I, I just, I did notice that when I did that particular reaction, people were really upset with, uh, not, not everyone, but there were some people that were really upset with his rendition of Marlon Brando, and it, it caused a stir in some people. My career, I'm stumped. I have no idea who the killer hey, is. Hey, it's Matt Berry. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm a very busy man. Yes, of course, I'm sorry to waste your time, Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Columbo, what are you doing back here? I thought you'd already gone. Um, could I just ask you one more question? Did you do it? No. Okay, it was worth a shot. Uh, I guess this is one murder that will remain unsolved. <laughs> The movie is a carefully calculated assault of surrealistic imagery designed to provoke the condition of diarrhea. And John Cleese. <laughs> Yo, I don't, I've never heard David Lynch speak, so I don't, I don't know what he sounds. Some of the there's a couple in here so far that I don't know who they are or who he or who he's impersonating. I'll let you guys be the judge. <laughs> Wait, play that again. The movie is a carefully calculated assault of surrealistic imagery designed to provoke the condition of diarrhea. And John Cleese's sex video gets downloaded oh, 20 no. million times. Go, come on, stop messing around with your phone, get it. They say there's no such thing as bad publicity, and they're right. I mean, the sales of the Faulty Towers DVDs have gone through the roof. My, uh, my papa bought me a... An ant farm. Oh, I love those ants. I gave them all names. Uh, Blackie. Feet. Shiny. Uh, <laughs> William. But there was one little ant who only had five legs. And I call him Limpy. Hello there, and welcome to a very special Christmas point of view. Our first letter comes... From a Mrs. Susan Armitage of Bristol. What's going on? Miss Marple's been attacked. What? Oh, he went that way, the brute. Right. Yes, you go to Hastings. You do know you're not wearing any trousers, Poirot. Yes? I'm on the right road, and uh, I got a great new song. And with this sexy new look, the king has gone back to doing what he knows best. Well, I send you. They turn the whole crew around, the camera, the lighting, everything. John, can we move the, uh, what's your name? I, some, somebody actually told, I didn't do watch it before I did the reaction to this particular bit, but somebody told me to look up the Michael Caine um, video where he's doing the eye thing, uh, where it's actually Michael Caine, and I did watch that, and it made this uh, skit even funnier. Because now I had a reference point. But yeah. They turn it all around, so everything's now facing the other way. If you look at the monitor there, now not you, love. What I like to do is to step into the back of the other person's shot. That way, you're still fresh in the audience's memory. You see what I mean? This guy's so good. That would probably be your wife. I'm not married. <laughs> Could be somebody else's then. Mr. Bond? Yes. Mr. James Bond? Yes. I'm arresting you on suspicion of bestiality. What? Dear 19 in the clone house, 4 17 pm. Stevie, Stevie, and Stevie are in the kitchen. All right, lad. 
One, while Stevie, and Stevie, two, Stevie, and, and Stevie three, are in the garden. Four. Stevie is in the diary room. I'm going to choose coffin 19, which is Catherine. Now, I want everybody to think positive. Think positive thoughts. I want everybody to think dead, 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 dead. Come on, dead, dead. 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 That's it. Come dead. on, people at home, dead. on the sofa, dead. 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 Think positive. Dead. 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 I don't dead. know who this guy dead. is. Dead. The guy is dead. first dead. 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 Catherine, would you open that coffin? Dead. 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 Oh! I'm wondering if all of these are from the Peter Serafinowicz show, because I feel like some of these might be from different things he's been in. Could be wrong, though. I don't know. Simon. Um, Jake. Interesting. <laughs> he actually um, looks like him, too. Good choice of song. <laughs> but here's the thing. I think you're a <laughs> I've been criticized for the use of CGI and special effects in my movies. I really wanted to uh, go back to basics, and that's what, I, that's what I think we did with this new version. It's basically uh, the scrolling text <laughs> that you see at the beginning of the movies now continues right the way through. It's just the words. It's just the words. What can Dude, George, Matt, I gotta say, of all the impress, the ones that I know anyway, this George Lucas impression, eh, eh. There's, uh, if you guys want to look up on your own, a hilarious George Lucas impression. They even deep faked the uh, face so it looks like him. But it's, uh, what's that channel? It's called uh, Collider. And they've done quite a few George Lucas, whoever's doing the, uh, the voice behind the deep fake face of that has a superb George Lucas impression. They've even got his laugh down and everything and his mannerisms. It's just so good. I highly recommend you guys check that out on your own. If you, if you know who George Lucas is, um, and have heard him speak before, but, uh, this one is just okay. It'd be more exciting than your own imagination. We're still here with the Prince Charming himself, Prince Charles. Thank you, Katie. Now, this next item that we have here is, and I hope I'm going to say this correctly, um, is the Corona Imperius Maximus. Uh, yes, you, you said it perfectly. Everybody's got a favorite actor. Come on, who's your favorite actor? Come on, don't be shy. You don't have to say me. <laughs> <laughs> Al Pacino. Why not me? <laughs> if you read the Bible, I mean really read the Bible, you'll discover that Jesus was a very, very sarcastic guy. I just think we should go to the toilet. That's all I'm saying, you know. Sounds sensible to me. I am pretty full. You know, why is it we always have to do what you want us to do? Hey, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, you know. We're just human beings. It's a physical fact. I didn't design the human digestive system. You know, we just all need to go to the toilet, simple as that. I really don't need the toilet. You did have that bloody big lentil curry, George. You're not listening. <laughs> we don't need to go to the toilet. All right, maybe we do need to go to the toilet. Are you absolutely bursting up? So we all went upstairs onto the roof and we came up with another bloody song. You've got a pain deep down inside look on your face you just can't hide take a load off of your mind take a load off your behind oh god i'm talking to you it's something we all do oh we the beatles Just go for a poo. Wow. I was always... I've said it before. I was more of a Rolling Stones. I like the Rolling Stones better. Um, but man, this guy is amazing. Peter Serafinowicz and his impressions are awesome. 
The only one that, other than the the I, I don't have reference points for the uh, the ones that I didn't know, the people that I was doing. But for uh, George Lucas, that was that was the one that was kind of a eh. maybe the Mel Gibson one was kind of a eh too. But all the others I thought were fantastic. This this guy. I, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't know why this guy isn't more popular and why this show didn't take off more. This it's from everything I've seen it's been hilarious. And I love the guy. He's fantastic. But that was most of his impressions. I want in let me know if any of those things were not from the Peter Serafinowicz show. It looked like maybe like one or two things was from something else. Could be wrong though, but you know, I don't know. That's what I have you guys for, to tell me what's what all the time. You know what I mean? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And I'll see you again soon. Peace.